Hi, Hub Arkins for Pro Football Weekly with more of our exclusive NFL Way We Hear It. All the news scoops and rumors before they happen. And in Cleveland, Eric Mangini's got more than his share of problems on his hand. Now, first, it starts to quarterback. Jake Delhomme has been, well, he's been banged up. And, of course, Seneca Wallace had played better than a lot of people thought. So he got banged up in reserve for Jake DeHome. DeHome comes back, re-injures the ankle, and so this Sunday, it's going to be the rookie, Colt McCoy, a quarterback. Now, they didn't want this to happen this early. They didn't want this to happen this season. They do like the kid. They think maybe he is the answer going forward at quarterback, but they didn't expect him on the field until next year. With all the other problems this team is having, how do they make it safe for him? How do they protect him? How do they put him in situations where he can be successful? A lot of it is going to fall on Peyton Hillis. There's no question about that. Now, remember coming in, of the season. We would have thought it would have fallen on Jerome Harrison, but he's gone. They've cut the cord. They've brought in Mike Bell. It just didn't work out with Jerome Harrison. Such high hopes at the beginning of the year. Mike Bell will be a solid backup. The problem with Peyton Hillis and Mike Bell is neither one of them is a big breakaway threat. There's no big plays in the running game, and so now you come back and put more pressure on your young quarterback. Again, the key here is they like him for the future, but this is where it comes back to head coach Eric Mangini. Is he the future? Right now, with this Cleveland team struggling badly again, a lot of people were surprised he was brought back this season by Mike Holmgren. Is Mike Coleman just filling time, getting to know his personnel, looking for the coach of his choice, or does Mangini still have a chance to save this job? That's the big question, and going with McCoy this week at quarterback doesn't help him. What we're hearing is that Mangini's in serious trouble. He's going to have to get a lot out of McCoy. He won't get fired in the next few weeks, but his ability to be the head coach of the Cleveland Browns next year, well, it doesn't look likely that he's going to be the guy mentoring Colt McCoy in the future. For Pro Football Weekly, I'm Hub Arkish, and for more Pro Football Weekly, way we hear it, Check back at ProFootballWeekly.com, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.